How's it going guys? Thanks for tuning into another Disc Golf Crew video. Today we're going to be checking out the Grip EQ AX5 Disc Golf Backpack. All right, so let's get into it. We're just going to do a 360 around the bag. I'm going to show you everything about the bag, show you all the cool stuff, and hopefully this video is informative and will help you make a informative decision if you're deciding to maybe purchase this bag or you're you know, thinking about maybe I'm on the fence about it. Hopefully this video will help you push you over the edge uh, so you can make the purchase and uh, get yourself one of these really cool backpacks. Uh, just a little backstory on the backpack. This is the Grip EQ AX5. This is basically their flagship model of backpacks. Um, this is gonna be the largest backpack that they make. They make a bunch of different other sizes, uh, this being the largest, and then going down in size, depending on how many discs you're looking to carry. Um, the main compartment here holds 22 discs, which sounds like a lot, but once you start buying discs, it fills up pretty quickly. So I'm gonna open this up so you can kind of see what this looks like. Um, one of the things I want to mention on this bag, I want to kind of show in close to you, the quality of the zippers, the quality of the stitching, the quality of the materials on this bag, um, you definitely get what you pay for. MSRP on this bag is $239, um, so it is a little expensive, but you, like I said, you definitely get what you pay for. The finish of this bag is amazing. If you feel the zipper quality, if you feel the padding, if you feel everything all the way around this bag, it's just quality, quality, quality all the way around. So um, if you're thinking, wow, it's a lot of money, I'm not really sure if it'd be justified. Definitely justified um, with the money that you're spending on it. Definitely money well spent. So let's open up the main compartment here. Um, this little flap here, which I really like about this is there's a piece of Velcro here on the inside. There's also a piece of Velcro here on the inside of the backpack. So which means when you fold this in, it sticks and now you can see all of your discs. Pretty cool, right? Makes it super accessible, easy to get to. Um, I currently have about 19 discs in here. Um, I have uh, my putters, my mids, and then my fairway drivers and my distance drivers over here on this side. Um, I have about 19 in here now. Depending on what you're throwing, if you're throwing a lot of mids and putters, they're a little thicker, so you may not be able to get as many discs in. Um, but this is about a, the amount of discs I normally carry um, You know when I'm playing. The cool thing about this backpack is you don't have to stick all 22 discs in here because you have other areas for other discs that are more frequently used, which is really cool. Okay, so right above the main compartment, um, you have a little slit right here. Um, this slit, you can probably fit maybe one or two drivers. Um, if you try to put more than one, it does get a little tight. Um, so probably one is all you're gonna wanna put in there. Me personally, I don't really utilize this pocket at all. Um, there's two more pockets on top. They're a little bigger than I actually use for most of my usage in this backpack. So like I said, going up one from this slot here, you have this zipper right across the top and you just open that up and now you have another little slot in here. So what I like to do is I like to keep the three drivers. I usually have like three different drivers I throw each round for the most part, discs I normally use. So whatever I happen to be throwing the most off the tee, I'll usually keep in here. On my secondary discs as well, throw that in there. And then maybe a third driver that I'm using just randomly, that'll also go in there. I usually keep three drivers in this uh, middle pocket right here, which is really cool, easy to get to. Um, and the in and out as far as pulling the discs out, pretty easy. It's pretty tight inside the pocket. So the discs aren't gonna just come out. They're, once they're in there, they're in there, they're not going anywhere, which is really nice. Okay, and now for my favorite part of the bag, which is the putter pocket on the top. So if you look all the way at the top, there's another slot up here. Um, it's also a zipper, so you just zip this open. Just like that. All right, and then you have this top pocket here where you can put some more discs. So the pocket on the top you can actually make it go higher or lower. So if you notice on the top here, I'm gonna turn it this way so you can kind of see. Uh, if I tighten these strings on the inside, then my discs will actually sit a little higher so that you can lift these up so they sit up. Or you can lower them down and you can lower this on the inside. There's just a little tie. And then you can see the discs will actually go all the way down on the inside, depending on how high you want them. So. Here's the little cord here, and you just tighten it, and then it'll just pop your little, it'll pop your putters up. So I like to keep these in the highest position, just like that. Usually keep two putters up here, um, and these are pretty thick. Uh, this one is a harp, and this one's a Luna, so they're a little thicker on the thicker side, and two fit in there perfectly. 
Three is a little tight, um, so you're just gonna wanna keep two up there. I usually keep uh, whatever disc I'm using for my approach putter, and then my regular putting putter is also up here. Um, and then I keep my little mini marker just kind of sandwiched between the two discs. I never lose my mini because it's always there, super convenient, really easy to get to. So finishing up on the front, one of the cool things about the Grip EQ is they have this nice little Velcro section on the top. So what's cool about that is the Grip logo comes off, so you can take this off if you want to, and then, or you can you know just put it right back on there. But the other cool thing is you can put your own custom patches on here. I have my little Smokey the Bears uh, burn tree little patch right there. I got that off of Amazon. That was like ten bucks. Um, but yeah, you can do some, put some really cool patches along the top. I know there's a lot of brands, a lot of different companies now that are making disc golf patches um, for different players and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, give you a way to show off a little bit of your personality, put your little bit of swag up here on the top of your bag. Um, and you can kind of customize it, which is really cool. I like this little feature. Okay, so on the side of the backpack, it has a little pocket on the side here. Uh, you can keep your little pencils. Um, I actually keep my range finder. Um, in one side of the pockets over here on this side. So I keep that just over here in the little side pocket, which you can put nicely right over here. Um, you have two zippers over here on the side. Uh, the first zipper is actually gonna be the one for the actual pocket um, where you're gonna put your stuff inside here. And then the second zipper is to make it basically expand so that you can have a little fatter pocket. So you can see it gets a little bit fatter as far as like the width goes. So if you have something a little bigger, you can put more stuff in there. Uh, me personally, I don't ever use that thing because the side pockets are actually pretty big. You can fit quite a bit of stuff inside here. Um, depending on what you're carrying for your round, you can carry your towels. You can, I have like, let's see what I have in here. I got mini markers. I got a little mini marker. I have uh, some wipes, my hand wipes. I have, uh, what else I got? And I got, a, uh, I got a little marker in case I get an ace. So there's just some of the stuff you can keep in the side over here. I'll just show you the other side while I'm at it. The other side over here, what I got in here? I got a couple towels. I got a couple towels in there. Uh, what else do I got? I got some Kleenex and what else? That's it. So we got Kleenex and some towels on the other side. You know, you never know you're gonna need Kleenex and you always need towels to clean your discs off. So you can put those on the side which is really cool. Now, if we spin, we're gonna spin a little bit more. Here we go, spinning some more. And you have two water bottle holders on the back um, here and here. Uh, they're both the same size. Uh, I keep my, I have my little uh, UE Mega Boom uh, Bluetooth speaker in here. But on this side, I normally have a 40 ounce Hydro Flask water bottle. Um, so you can fit the Hydro Flask water bottle in there. It fits really nice. Um, you can put two in there if you want to rock two. Um, but I usually just keep one and then I have my speaker in the other side. Um, and I'm usually good to go, so it's not too bad. Um, one of the other cool things on the side here, on this particular side that's not on the other side, um, is a little pouch that you can use for a chair. I don't have a chair, I usually don't carry one, so I have my uh, disc retriever in the side over here, but really cool, because it just kind of just fits right in there, which is really nice. And now taking to the back, it's got the adjustable straps on the back. These straps are really good quality, they're really thick straps. So when you're wearing the backpack, um, there's a lot of padding, you don't get any kind of, um, you, don't, you don't really feel uh, the weight of the backpack too much. It is heavy, but because of all the padding, it actually makes it kind of nice. There's also padding on the inside here. So there's two pads uh, for like your shoulder blades and then a middle back pad here that's gonna go on your lower back. The other cool thing about this part is it actually opens up. There's a little zipper in here. And what's cool is it's on the inside of your back. So this is where I keep my wallet, my keys, um, anything that's uh, you know uh, valuables, this is where you're gonna wanna keep them um, on the inside pocket here. You zip it up, it goes on your back and you never have to worry about anyone going in there looking for anything. For the most part, people don't even know the, the pocket is there, which is really cool. And then you have the uh, little clasp in the back so that if you're going a hardcore hiking, you can clap it on and you can really do some off-roading with it. It's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, one other thing about this, which is really nice, is on the bottom, it has these two plastic rails. So no matter what surface you put it on, it's always gonna sit flat, just like that. You see how it just kind of sits up, which is really cool. There's also a lot of different places to hang things. So um, if you are part of a local bag tag like I am, you can attach your bag tags to all that stuff. Um, flags and whatever else you want to attach. If you have like a clip on towel, you can clip that on too. With the size of this backpack, 
unfortunately you are going to fill it up because you have that space and you're just going to be like, oh, I can get more discs. And then you just start putting more and more and more in. And then before you know it, your whole backpack's full. And then once you start carrying it around, you're like, wow, it's getting kind of heavy. And then you start looking into maybe something like a bag boy cart or stuff like that, which I do have. That'll be another video. So stay tuned for that. Um, but uh, that's the only thing with these backpacks is they are big. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll put it on my back so you can just kind of get an idea of how big it is. I'm six feet tall and I'll kind of show you what this looks like so you can see about what it looks like on my back. All right, so you can see there it is there. Very nice. That's the back side, so you can see about how wide it is as far as how wide it's gonna go. Um, but all in all, it's a really nice backpack. It fits really good. Uh, you can see these are the straps from the front, so you can strap it up if you need to. And then you're good to go. Strapped up, looking good, looking good. Okay guys, so that was the Grip EQ AX5 backpack. Really liking this guy. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the new stuff we have coming out. Until next time, see ya.